powered by WCTV.TV. Eyewitness News at 11 starts now. These little sea turtles making history on St. George Island. We'll hear from turtle experts and volunteers about what this hatch means for the area and a part you could play to help keep them safe. Plus, a proposed change from the Peach State when it comes to poultry. Why Georgia officials are asking to redefine the term. But first, a bombshell announcement from the highest of seven hills. After serving nearly seven years as FAMU's 12th president, Dr. Larry Robinson will soon step down down from his position. Hello and thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Zach Dahlheimer. Abby has the night off. The surprise announcement came this morning and the news quickly spread through the FAMU community. Now set to embark on a major transition. In his letter to the university's board of trustees, Dr. Robinson said, quote, my decision is made simply because I believe the timing is right for me, my family, and the FAMU community, end quote. FAMU officials say Robinson will take a year-long sabbatical and return as a professor. The thought of new leadership has raised a lot of questions from students on campus today. Some are wondering why Dr. Robinson made this choice to leave, while others say they're eager to see who takes on the job. Over the last seven years, Robinson has made significant contributions to the university, including record fundraising and establishing FAMU as the number one public HBCU in the country. Students we caught up with earlier today say they are sad, but also excited for a new beginning. He's amazing, yeah, to say the least. He's one of the greatest for sure. I'm upset as well because, you know, he is my president my first year coming in, so it's a big difference, you know, a big culture shift, so I just can't wait to see who the next president is. Students, faculty, and Rattler fans have poured out their love and support for Robinson on social media today. After hearing the news, the timeline of his transition is also unclear. He says he will let the Board of Trustees make the call on when his last day will be and who will replace him. Dr. Robinson has dedicated nearly three decades of his career to FAMU. He became a visiting professor there in 1995. He was a vice president and provost multiple times, and he served as interim president three times before becoming the university's full-time president in 2017. A special board of trustees meeting will be called to talk about what the future could be like for the university's leadership. Trustee Deveron Gibbons today says he's expecting to see the board discuss whether there will be someone who will serve as an interim president while the search for a new permanent president gets underway. Gibbons says he would like to see all members of the board share their thoughts and have a say throughout the entire process. I think that's the best process to have an open and democratic process that would allow for all of the trustees to have some input and then we can come back and see how we'd like to move forward with an interim or not or um, if we do choose to have an interim who he or she is. Now, from there, the Board of Governors and Board of Trustees will go through the search and selection process. Gibbons says he hopes to see someone come in and carry on the traditions and legacy that Robinson laid the groundwork for. Florida Board of Governors Chair Brian Lamb is also sharing admiration for Robinson in light of this news. In a shared letter, he celebrated Robinson's accomplishments of dropping student debt, maintaining a high national standing, and research investment. Lamb ended the letter addressing other board governors and presidents saying, quote, I hope that you will join me in acknowledging his higher education legacy and ask for your unwavering support during this transitional period for our beloved FAMU, end quote. Now, when the next university president steps up, they will likely inherit some challenges come day one. Just two months ago, questions started coming up about a historic donation from Gregory Jeremy for $237 million. Jeremy presented the big check at the commencement ceremony. Days later, Robinson announced a pause on the donation and the board hired an outside firm to investigate. At the end of last month, the Florida Board of Governors raised concerns about the school's license exam pass rates in fields including pharmacy and law. The university is also working through housing issues. Just last week, school officials said FAMU got more than 1,000 returning housing applications in one day, leaving hundreds on a wait list. 
Now, FAMU isn't the only HBCU that needs a new president. The head of Talladega College in Alabama stepped down June 4th. In South Florida, Florida Memorial University's president stepped down later that month. And Dillard University in New Orleans named an interim president on July 1st after its leaders stepped down. Unlike FAMU, all three of these schools are private HBCUs. Okay, we're going to go ahead and talk weather now. Head live outside to Alligator Point in Franklin County. This is always a really cool shot. I love the trees, especially lit up at night. So much green there and quite a calm Friday night along the coast as we, yes, we have made it to our weekend, Mike. And hopefully the weather can be pretty good for us for the next couple of days. Not too bad if maybe on your Friday evening you hit the outdoor cafe or maybe an evening walk along one of our great little pieces of coastline. Uh, this week, 